Hi everyone, what I want to show you guys is how to create some very simple but very effective um, models that can allow for us to add some little details to our birdhouse that we're working on right now. Um, the first thing I want to show you guys how to do, if we go into our little reference image here, is how to make some siding. Now this is a very easy idea and it's very effective. It takes two seconds to model this out. Um, I'll show you how to do this. If we go into Maya, and I'm just going to create a polygon plane. And let's say that my polygon plane, my width, I don't need that many. I only need one. But for my height, let's say that we want that to be maybe 20. And I can't type today. There we go. All right. So let me scale this thing up. Um, my width and height, let's say that this is actually going to be 5 by 5. Okay. And um, let's also rotate this uh, 90 degrees forward. Okay. So what we need to do, I'm just going to flat lighting so you can see this for a second here. Um, what we need to do is basically be able to make this thing actually let me just rotate it 90 and see if that helps there we go all right let's make this look similar to some vinyl or aluminum siding here and the way to do that is to go into our edges so right click edge select across all of these and we can go into bevel now I know you could have just added these in by hand, or not by hand, but made this 40 by 40, but that's kind of defeating the purpose. I like to do things fast, and this is a very easy way that I found to be able to make something fast that looks pretty good. And so you'll notice with this bevel, I made it very small, and now what I want to do is select every other. But I just want to grab the top surface. And now that I have this top surface, or the, not the top surface, but this top edge, that's going to be the outside area of my siding. So it'll be higher, or further out than the uh, non-selected one. So if we pull these out, that looks pretty good. And if we let go of our selection, you'll notice right away it looks really weird. That's because... Um, by default, it's going to be smooth. So if we go into our model, just have it go to object mode, and then go to mesh display and harden those edges, and then there we go. We have some siding. Now, if I were to work with this, this is the nice part with having this. We'll call this our work. And we can call this uh, work siding, or we can even um, call that template siding. And anytime we need to use this, we can have that uh, selected from here. We'll duplicate it. We can add it into another layer. And we have this one now. And so let's say that's our, our template that we can use and copy and paste and work with. And here's the one we'll work with. So let's say that I do want it to be uh, similar to the reference. It's a longer uh, size for that. So we can scale that up. That's looking good. And then I'll just duplicate another one of these and add that to this layer so right click add that to layer I have this one and kind of a pain in the butt to rotate around the um, middle so we could always put it on the pivot over here so that snaps better but I'm gonna deal with it right now okay I have that Put it over here, duplicate it again, bring it over here, and now I have this. So how do we fix these edges? Well, it's not just in 3D. You'll notice people do that in the real world. They put this little line across there. Now that can be done in all sorts of easy ways. I'm just going to do this. This is that whole concept, think smarter, not harder. So we just made this piece here. I'm going to grab the edges of this 
and we'll just bevel that out so it has a little bit more of a uh, nicer surface to it. And if I just go across this part and pull that straight up, there, there's one. Whoop. Duplicate this piece. And there's this one. And I've just made siding for myself. So that is extremely easy to do and very effective.